Hello. Yeah, that's when I'll get ready as well because I look like absolute trash. So good. How do you feel? I'll go after it. Today's the day, the sun is shining, the tank is clean, and we are getting out of here. <clears throat> I always think of that song when I think of today. Oh god, I'm nervous. I'm really, 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 really nervous. So I've been working on this for... How long have I been working on this? A long time. A long time. And I, I, I don't know if it's just me that makes... It feels weird that it all comes down to like one day. <laughs> Scary. And trust you me. I haven't, I haven't got everything done, um, so I'm sat editing all my photos to go up and I need to write my descriptions and I need to turn my website off. Are people still on it? There's two people still on it, should I work for them to check out? Okay, they don't even have active cards, they can leave. Um, but I need to edit my whole website and uh, everything's going, all my guides are going, it's so weird because that's all I've done for like so long but what what's coming is miles better there's obviously the plan is coming today but there's something miles better coming after that I can't wait for it. Everything right now is just an absolute complete mess like <laughs> and it really stresses me out I really struggle to work when it's messy but I don't have time to side yet but I have the biggest pile of parcels and they've been there for about a week the absolute willpower I don't know how I do that but <sighs> When I buy from small businesses, I like to promote them on my stories when I like unbox them all. And I haven't had time and I've been using my stories for other things this week. So I've been saving them for like when I can, which will be tomorrow. But ignore the rest of the mess, it's absolutely horrendous. But look at that pile. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I will be getting ready at some point today. I promise I don't look like this all the time. But got more important things to do right now. But I thought I would just show you a website I use because it's really, really useful. And... I swear by it, especially in times like this. Usually I wouldn't use it, but if you struggle to write captions or product descriptions or anything like that, or you're on a very a very close deadline like I am today, very, very useful. So I've only got a few hours, <laughs> so I'm using this um, website to do it all for me and it's so, it's just great. So I've talked about, um, I've talked about different ways you can like sell before so there's obviously like pain points and I think some people struggle with that because maybe their product doesn't solve the problem or at least they don't think that it, <clears throat> at least they don't think that it does but this website gives you loads of different formats that you can write a product description or a caption and they're all tailored to selling um it's called copy AI and essentially what you do is you put in the name of your product here and you write about your product here and then it literally generates you all of this and you can pick which one you want so I'm on pain agitate solution which is like pain points but you can do um, like features and benefits so that doesn't have to include like solving a problem that's just like the benefit of your product um, and there's loads of different ones and you can do uh, where is it oh there it is you can do like product descriptions you can do um, emails, social media tools for like captions and things. It's so blooming useful, it's so blooming useful. Like I said, I wouldn't usually use it because um, I quite like to write them myself, but today it's much needed and I, it does cost, it does cost, um, I can't remember how much it is a month, but definitely worth it if you don't think you're great at writing or if you don't have the time. I'm having a shocker, I'm having an absolute shocker. <laughs> it's quarter to two and I'm still editing my website. I was supposed to go out for lunch like two hours ago. Still haven't even gotten dressed. I haven't even brushed my hair yet today. And I'm just sat editing my website, ready to <laughs> go. <laughs> All of the McDonald's thinking, yeah, yeah, I'll eat some chips. And even eating them. Now I'll be cold, too cold to eat. <laughs> Hello, little one. You come to keep me company whilst I'm going insane. No, you sure good. Website's finally done. I'm done. I'm done with it. I need to make some TikToks and stuff, but other than that, I need to get ready first. But 
Ow, my arm. I just trapped it in the window. Six people are sat on my website. How eager. I mean, still got three hours to wait. <laughs> um, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. I mean, I do love it. I do love it. Um, but definitely requires some editing at some point, but today's not the day. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've been at this for so long now. I just want to get out of my pyjamas. <laughs> Oh, what's up in there? Let's get this sorted. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's not a good look, is it? I think I found the cure for frizzy. Why is my camera doing that? I actually think I found the cure for frizzy hair. So I naturally have like hair that's like out here. I should have showed you before I put it in. But, where's it gone? Erlopalex, the number six one, and Loxy's hair wears silk um, pillowcase. I mean, usually this is like out here, not exaggerating. Absolute dream team. I feel somewhat more, more alive now. Um, I'm not somebody who actually gets stressed that much, but I'm usually quite good at handling these situations. <laughs> but I just, I can't deal with it because everything's a mess. And I've just, I've just put so much into this. I don't think I've explained what my product launch is. If you follow, follow me on Instagram, you're probably not going to have a clue what I'm talking about. Basically, um, I mentor small business earners and I sold like ebooks and things for a long time and that was all fine, but um, people kept saying that they struggled to read it and stay concentrated, so I've gotten rid of them and I'm switching over to like a subscription website where it'll be like videos of me talking and alongside that I'm launching like a range of planners and journals and books and things like that. <sighs> So the planners and the journals and the books, they're all coming tonight and then the subscription website will come in about two weeks. I've just put a lot of, lot of work into this and that makes me nervous. Also, my aim for this launch is £2,000. I know that's really ambitious and I'm not somebody who sets a goal and then gets upset when they don't reach it. Um, I'm quite good with myself like that. Like, if I don't reach it, I, I won't mind. I'll still be happy regardless. But I prefer to aim higher than lower. Um, and each month just gets better and better and better so um in my first month i made about two thousand pounds and then next month was four thousand the next month was fourteen thousand and then all no september so it's the first of october today so literally just the last 30 days was seventeen and a half thousand <laughs> so it goes up massively each month so my goals um just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger which is good really it keeps it, it keeps me motivated i'm if I don't reach those goals, it just motivates me more to do it. Um, so I don't mind if I don't reach my ridiculously crazy goals, but yeah, my goal is 2000 pounds by, so it's launching at 6 p.m. tonight. So I want 2000 pounds by 6 p.m. tomorrow night. So on the agenda now is TikTok. I need to film my like, you know, launch moment TikTok. Oof. Um, I had an idea for it. So I already know what I'm gonna do. So I've just sat and done like an email campaign and scheduled it, scheduled it to go out at 6 o'clock. I use MailChimp now. I used to slag off MailChimp so much. Oh, that's really loud, hang on. I used to slag off MailChimp so much. I used to find it really difficult to use. But now that I've sussed it out, I understand what the hype's about. Oh my god, it's amazing. My stomach is in actual knots. I do not feel good. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I was so anxious. I think it's the anticipation of it all it's all been building up for so long now it's here and it's like i know i keep saying it but i really am a nervous wreck <sighs> five minutes more good thing i bought myself um a treat for today i only ever buy myself something expensive i'm really good at saving my money but i only ever buy myself something expensive when it's like a big day hello um so my last milestone, I got myself a Dior ring and this time I wanted a Fendi ring and it's been sat on my shelf for two weeks. <laughs> the willpower. After a year of doing this kind of thing, you'd think I'd, um, think I'd be used to it, but no. Yeah. Okay, she's up. Uh, now I need to post my reel. TikTok. I'm gonna do this one. This is the one I made for TikTok. I put much less effort into um, my TikToks than I do with my Instagram. 
hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, I just got my first one. Oh, thanks, Lara. You little cutie. What on earth? She's on her way. She's on her way. Ling! <laughs> Quarter of a way to my goal. Um, after 13 minutes. <laughs> Insane. I get so overwhelmed when these things happen. I don't know how to respond to them. It, it doesn't feel real half the time. Oh God, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I'm gonna go out and have a skip and not go off dinner because I'm really on the edge now. <sighs> not sure what happened there. I just got, I just, this happens. I just get, yeah. I talk about it quite a lot on my Instagram. I have quite bad health anxiety. I just panic for no real reason. Just when I get like a random sensation in my body, I'll instantly think I'm dying. <sighs> um, which is not great. But yeah, hairs up, bras on, ready to skip. Still gonna do that even though I'm feeling a bit better. Um, that just make me, it just makes me feel loads better when I exercise. I feel like I get a rush of adrenaline when I panic. And the only thing that gets it out is like skipping. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I am actually gonna get up and go for a skip in a minute, but oh my God. Over halfway and it's been 36 minutes. How, uh, how? I have run into a slight problem. I can't find my earphones. <gasps> I found them. Hello. What you doing? I feel loads better now. I feel loads better. <laughs> if you ever struggle with something like that, exercise. I know that's really cliche and everybody says it. And I didn't listen to it for ages, but I always see it as like a build up of adrenaline. And then when I exercise, I almost like visualize it coming out. So excited. Look at her. Oh, my finger's a bit messed up. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna sit and open up all of these. Hello, Ling. I mean, I haven't started opening them yet, so I don't feel like you should. As this was a launch day vlog, I'm just gonna update you. Two hours, <laughs> and this is where we're at. <sighs> beyond grateful, beyond grateful. It seems kind of surreal, like I don't know how to react to it. Oh, this isn't for me. This is a Christmas present. My sister and her boyfriend, are, they're going to Disney World next year and they get so hyped for Disney. Like it's, they're like one true love. And as a Christmas present, I'm putting together like a hamper of Disney related things that they can either use before they go to Disney or take with them. They're little wax melts, but they're called Waltz Waxes and it says Castle Sweet. Ooh. I ordered this pumpkin trinket dish. <laughs> this is from the Pink Llama Co. Can you see that? Oh, oh my god. It's the scene where um, Ross finds out that Rachel's in love with him and she jumps on him. <laughs> Obsessed. Oh, what's wrong? He's on one again. He's loving that little catnip box. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Nora Boutique. Ooh, okay, so I actually did a little swap with Snaz Magazine. Um, so I sent her one of my planners and she sent me one per magazine. It's a magazine for small businesses and you, I think you can get featured in it for free. You can get featured in this small business magazine for free. Um, I think all you have to do is apply on her website. The cat's just gone out, so I'm gonna open this one whilst it's gone because he'll go mad. Oh yeah, I'm embroidering these suits. <laughs> I think that's a Robin. Yeah, I think that's Robin. Look how cute that is. Up next. Now, this one's from Atwick Creations. I've worked with her um, quite a long time and she is just amazing. She, when we first started working together, she, she was on about 154 pounds a month and she's just had, well last month, well, August, she had a £4,000 month 
and she did the exact same again this month well in september <laughs> i keep forgetting it's the first of october she's amazing oh my god there's so many pumpkins what she sells these pumpkins <gasps> i think i know what this is you guys have worked wonders for my business thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful day love from laura from the gnome and cat look at this it's a pumpkin oh, octopus <laughs> send it the other way so the camera can see I'll crack the screen while that. It's a pumpkin octopus. How <laughs> cute mm. is that? Kissies. Got a new boyfriend. Got, got a new girlfriend. girlfriend. Oh, kissies. <laughs> oh, he oh. loves it. Next up, one too many teas. Got myself some oversized jumpers because love it. And my favourite colours. It says, always stressed but still well dressed. I'm definitely stressed but I'm not sure I'm well dressed. And then there's this one which has inspire on it and then on the back, one of my favourite quotes ever, be inspired by the feet of being average. She literally said that to me once. I put on my stories, what's your favourite quote? And she said, this one's my favourite. This is my absolute favourite. This is girl power. Officially tanking out at, what time is it now? 10 to 11. <sighs> um, so what did we finish the day on? We launched at six and it is now, Nearly, nearly 11 o'clock, so five hours since launching and grand total of 1,800 pounds. It's the next morning, um, I fell asleep with my makeup on but thought I would update you so as I said my goal was um, 2,000 pounds by 6pm tonight so 24 hours after and just woken up, it's 8.44 in the morning. Amazing, very, very overwhelmed by that. That's yeah very very lucky also my dad when i first set up my etsy shop last year in september my dad was my first ever order and last night when i had my launch he rang me a few hours after and he was like oh how did it go i was like oh really really well and he was like did you see my order i was like no i didn't see that because i don't check each individual order um well i do when i'm packaging them but not when they come through and um he was like yeah yeah i ordered loads and i just checked <laughs> He ordered like most things. Oh, where's it gone? <laughs> Bless it. <laughs> he actually melts my heart. I was like, do you still want it in the pink box and everything? I was like, yeah, I want the full Shazam. <laughs> He's so sweet. My number one supporter. Checking out now. Um, so I've given myself the deadline of 6 pm tonight, and it's now 6.21, and I finished on 2.541 and my goal was two. <laughs> incredibly overwhelmed, incredibly overwhelmed. Mm, very excited about it, very, very grateful for everyone who ordered. Um, yeah, very exciting. I'll absolutely do a video on how to have a successful products launch very, very soon. Hope you have a lovely day. Well, rest of your day. Hope you're having a lovely day, and I'll see you again soon.